much. Marlena arranged her stack of envelopes. Mrs. Rini's messages were inside. Marlena, thanks for your help. Good luck on your exam, Marlena. Set your goals as high as the stars, Marlena. Those messages made Marlena happy. She wanted to make similar envelopes. She would give them to everyone. Today was the fifth of the month. Mom came home after helping Mrs. Rini clean her house. She brought some envelopes. Mom said, time to do your duty, Marlena. Sure, Mom. Marlena replied happily. First she looked for her envelope. She handed the money inside to Mom. She then read the message in the envelope. Just like lime and pomegranate. Your smile is sweet, Marlena. Distributing the envelopes with encouraging messages every month made Marlena happy. She saw every kid laugh. Some jumped up and down with joy. They were orphans, just like Marlena had been. Envelope of the month. Hooray! Thank you, Marlena. When would Marlena be able to share her own envelopes? On the way home, a minivan passed her. Oh, Sarah is home, Marlena murmured. Sarah had been hospitalized since Tuesday. Marlena wanted to visit Sarah, but she was unsure about what to bring. Ah, I'll make an envelope. Who knows? It might cheer her up. Marlena smiled, thinking of a plan. Marlena took the cover off her notebook. She folded here and folded there. She pressed here and pressed there. Marlena's first envelope was ready. What should I put inside? Marlena opened her tin money box. She put some coins in the envelope. Oh! They're too heavy. Sarah loved reading poetry. Marlena tried to write something wholeheartedly. Unfortunately, my words are not beautiful like in a poetry book. She crumpled the paper in disappointment. Drawings. Sarah likes them too. Marlena exclaimed. Unfortunately, I want to draw Sarah's pretty face. Why does it look like a speckled rooster? Besides poetry and drawings, what would cheer her best friend up? Aha! Sarah loves flowers. Marlena put some Ashoka flowers in her envelope. Ouch! Ants, she shouted. Marlena changed her mind. She would not let Sarah get bitten by ants too. While Marlena was thinking of another plan, Mom approached. I'm going out for a while. There is a Quranic study at our neighbor's house. Invitation? Marlena had an idea for her envelope. Sarah's envelope was ready. Unexpectedly, Mom said, please deliver Mrs. Ndang's clothes. Marlena nodded, a bit reluctant. To get there faster, Marlene borrowed Mom's bike. Unfortunately, its tire was leaking. There was no other choice. Marlena would walk. The bag of clothes slipped from her arms so many times. She hoped that the envelope for Sarah was safe in her skirt pocket. When Marlena arrived at Mrs. Ndang's house, it started raining. While taking shelter, Marlena kept thinking about the envelope. She looked at the sky, unable to do anything. Oh no! When will the rain stop? Marlena stomped her foot. After falling for a long time, the rain stopped. Marlena felt excited again to deliver the envelope. 
impatient, Marlena began running on the bumpy road. Ouch, she cried. She slipped in a puddle. My envelope. Don't get wet, please. Marlena continued walking. Her leg was in pain from the fall, but she didn't think about it. The only thing she thought about was the envelope. Marlena was anxious when Sarah answered the door. This is for you, Sarah, she said. What is it, Marlena, asked Sarah. I made you an envelope. I hope you like it, said Marlena. She wondered, would Sarah like it? Yes, Marlena. I like it. I accept. Invitation Get well soon, Sarah. Tomorrow we will play together. We'll make mango pudding and read storybooks. I am waiting for your answer. Marlena Bye.